How's everyone doing today? Today's a great day. You know why? Because you're alive, so smile. Well, guys, I, I've just... Honestly, I just want to say thank you, first off, for uh, all the all the feedback that I got yesterday from, from my video. You know, it's it wasn't easy, you know, talking about that and and uh and I just really appreciate all the support that each and every one of you have given me over the past three years with with uh my strength training career in, in powerlifting. So, you know, I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you so much. Now, with today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between fat loss and weight loss. Now you probably ask yourself, you know, what's the difference? Uh, isn't it the same? You're losing weight. Well, yes, in a sense it is the same, but let me tell you this. Weight loss is all about pounds lost. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's water, fat, muscle, just losing weight. Then we have over here on the other side, we have fat loss. Now that's strictly talking about losing fat, burning fat versus everything else over here. So if you're burning, if, if you're wanting to lose weight, we all know that we hit those plateaus. So if you're losing weight and it's going by really quick and, and you're seeing great results, fantastic. But I will tell you this, not to discourage you, but a majority of that is water weight. Just because of our body's 70% water, you're going to be losing a lot of that because you're in such strenuous activities, you're sweating a lot, so a lot of that's going to be water weight. Not to say that you're not losing fat, you'll be losing fat as well, but a majority is water weight. Now, obviously, when we hit those plateaus with our, our, our weight loss, it comes back to now we have to tone back our calories. So now we have to be in a caloric deficit. So that way we can push past the plateaus. That way we can burn the fat. So in that, in that sense, if you are wanting to lose weight and you're eating 3,000 calories right now, do not go down to 1,500 calories because what's going to happen is you just have a 15-calorie deficit. Yes, you may, uh, you may get great results, but then you hit a plateau. What are you going to do? How are you going to take away from that 1,500 calories? Because you're not going to have any energy. You're not going to be able to build any lean muscle mass. So be, be smart about it. Take away small portions at a time. So if you're eating large portions, take out small bits. Maybe take out a small bit of, of your carbs. Or, or instead of a sweet potato, a whole one, eat half. So just slowly taking it you know, day by day. Once you hit a plateau, then take a little bit more away. So, in order to burn fat, because obviously, let's face it, that's what we all want to do, um, there's three factors. In my opinion, there are three key factors that help you burn fat. One is strength training. You can't burn fat unless you're lifting weights. I don't care how much cardio you do, you're not going to be able to burn that much because muscle mass is what helps burn fat throughout the day, it burns calories throughout the day. So the more lean muscle mass you have, the more fat, the more calories you're gonna burn. So ladies, if you're over there just on the treadmill, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's the worst possible thing you can do. Steady state cardio is the worst thing to do. You're just holding on fat, that's why you're not seeing any changes. So instead of doing the treadmill all the time, get on some weights, find yourself a, a jack guy in there to show you around if you don't know what to do, but start lifting weights just a little bit at a time, two two days a week, three days a week, something small, but I'm telling you, that is what's gonna help burn fat. So strength training, definitely number one in my opinion to help burn fat. Number two, cardio. But I'm not talking about getting on the treadmill, walking for 30 minutes, but you know, that's a great start if you're not in, if you haven't been into, uh, if, you're, if you're just now starting to lose weight, you're just now getting in to, to being healthy, of course, you know, you gotta start small. But if you've been in this for a while, get away from the treadmill. Get away from the Stairmaster. If you want to burn fat at a, a fast rate, high intense cardio, HIIT training. So you guys hear me always talking about HIIT training, how we, how we, Chase and I always 
host that boot camp, that is perfect right there, guys. High intense cardio, sprints, keeping your heart rate up. Your heart rate, as, as it climbs and climbs, that is what helps burn fat. Your body's having to work overtime in order to recover, and you're not giving your body enough time to recover because you're going straight into it. So that is what's going to help burn fat. None of this steady state crap. I'm telling you guys, that's that's stupid. Forgive me if I offend you, but I myself don't even do it. I tell I don't even tell my clients to do it. It's just a waste of time. I'd rather you do 15 minutes of high intense cardio versus you know 30, 45 minutes of steady state. So that's number two. Number three is water. Now most of y'all would think that water isn't a big a big part of it, but think about it. Our body is 70% water. So we got to replenish what our body's losing because we are going to be losing water weight. So start incorporating more water if you're doing strength training. So this is what I tell my clients. Take your body weight, divide it in half, and drink that in ounces. So if you're 160 pounds, drink 80 ounces of water on days you don't train. Now if you're strength training or doing cardio, high intense cardio, I would increase it about 20, 30 more ounces. So guys, those are my three things. I in regards to burning fat. Now, some of you may agree, some of you may not, but these are just my opinions, and this is what's helped me and my clients burn fat. Now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know everything you have. Also, please like, share my, my information. You know, I'm trying to help, like I said, as many people as possible, so the more you share, the more people are going to find out about this. Thank you, and y'all have a good day.